So the first one question is there, the configuration of the element with the largest second ionization energy. So basically the second ionization energy is that, that we have to withdraw the second electron from the same gaseous atom. So in that case, we know very well that uh, the alkali elements, first two group elements has only one electron in their outermost orbit. So in case of second electron, the electron is much closer to the nucleus. That's why it takes very much high energy to withdraw from there. So we have to just find out from these five uh, electronic configurations. So the option A is there that is basically 1s to 2s1 and this represents the element of first A group that is basically lithium. So the uh, answer for question number one that will be the A part. The configuration for this is 1s2 and 2s1 and this is basically the lithium atom. Now the question number two is there that the configuration of element whose atoms are most likely to form four covalent bond. So basically the four covalent bonds will be formed only in the condition when the four valence electrons are present in the outermost valence shell of any atom. So in that case when we see the configuration, so in option B 1s2 and 2s2 is there. So basically only two electrons are there in valence shell in option C. 1s2, 2s2 and 2p3, so 5 electrons are there in the valence shell. In option D, 1s2, 2s2 and 2p5, so 7 electrons are there in the valence shell. In option E, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 is there, so basically 8 electrons are there in the valence shell. So the question number 2 is there basically, the configuration of the element whose atoms are most likely to form 4 covalent bonds. So the first thing is that which atom can form 4 covalent bonds? So the thing is that ki only that atom which has 4 valence electron in their outermost orbit, it can just form the 4 covalent bond. So just we have to see the above configurations and find out that where 4 valence electrons are present. So in option A, basically only 1 electron is there because 2s1 is there. In second option that is 2s2, so only 2 valence electrons are there. While in option C, the configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So we can find that there are four valence electrons. So basically this is a carbon atom and it shows four valency. So the option B for question number two, that will be correct. And I write here the option B and configuration is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2. So now the third one question is there. So the configuration of the element most likely to form diatomic molecules to form X2. So simple thing is that the diatomic molecules are formed by the non-metals. So from our configuration, we have to just find that which one is the electronic configuration of non-metal. So the first one configuration, we already discussed that it is of lithium element. The second one configuration that is 1s2 and 2s2 that is basically of beryllium. So beryllium is a metal. The C configuration is there that is already discussed that is of carbon element is there. In option D 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. So it is the configuration of fluorine atom because the atomic number of fluorine is 9. So this option will be correct and fluorine can be converted into the form of a diatomic molecule. So for question number 3, the option number D that will be correct. I write the electronic configuration here that is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p5. And this is the fluorine atom and it can easily convert it into the form of a diatomic molecule that is the F2. Yeah, so now we'll discuss the question number 4 that the configuration of the element that exists as a single gaseous atom at 0 degree Celsius and 1 atmosphere pressure. So in general, the gases remain in the diatomic form. But they mentions that the element that exists as single, so only the inert gases can be there which remains in the monoatomic form at the normal te standard temperature and pressure. So from these above configurations, we find out that the option E in which mentioned that 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6, this is basically the electronic configuration of our inert gases. And when we write the name of that element, so that will be the neon. So neon, that's remain monoatomic. So the option number E will be correct for that question number four. 